Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Chinese culture class. Today, I will introduce you the most famous sport in China, the Great Wall. The Great Wall is the most significant defensive work of ancient China. It is not only evidence of China's advanced Asian civilization, but also a reflection of China's national spirit. In 220 BC, under Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor, sections of earlier fortifications were drawn together to form a united defense system against invasions from the north. Construction continued up to the Ming Dynasty, when the Great Wall became the world's largest military structure. Its historic and strategic importance is matched only by its architectural significance. The Great Wall has a long history. Originally, was constructed during the Spring and Autumn periods of 7th century BC. At the time, different kingdoms constantly fought against each other to further their own interests. During the war, in order to prevent attacks by other kingdoms, they built high and strong walls between their respective beacon towers and the defense fortresses. Before Qin Shi Huang unified China, altogether more than twenty kingdoms once constructed the Great Wall. Three peaks of construction of the Great Wall. The first one is Qin Great Wall. After Qin Shi Huang unified China in 221 BC, he established a centralized feudal country for the stable development of the feudal economy. For expanding territory and for attacking the Huns, Qin Shi Huang sent Meng Tian to lead an army of 300,000 people and commanded several million civil workers to build the wall. And the second time is the Han Great Wall. During the Western Han Dynasty, to strengthen strategic defense and protect newly opened Silk Roads, Emperor Wu of Han Dynasty ordered the construction of the Han Great Wall. A solid defensive system was formed in the broad area, both inside and outside the wall. At the meantime, policies on farming, immigration, and water conservancy were greatly promoted. Thus, the foundation for consolidating and defending the border was laid. The construction of the Han Great Wall became the second peak of construction of the Great Wall in Chinese history. The third one is the Ming Great Wall. In the process of unifying China and setting up the Ming Dynasty, Zhu Yuanzhang adopted recommendations to build high walls, store green far and wide, and delayed his proclamation as emperor. He built a frontier wall, set up city defense works, and made preparation for war. Look at the architectural structure and the construction here. This we take the Ba Da Ling Great Wall for example, because it's the most typical wall in China. Ba Da Ling is average height of is seven point eight meters, average width of the base is six point five meters, and the width of the top surface is about five point eight meters. Five horsemen can ride at breast on top of the wall, or ten people can walk at breast. Inside the wall, at short intervals, there are archways with stone steps leading to the top of the Great Wall. On the surface of the wall, there are three to four layers of bricks. The top layer is made of square bricks filled with lime between the joints. The surface of the wall is too smooth for the wild grass to grow. On the Badaling Great Wall, the main architectural structures are the watchtowers and the platforms. Watchtowers can be directly used to shoot at enemies who are climbing up the mountains, and they can also be used to store weapons, ammunition, and provisions. In addition to accommodating soldiers for the night, the top story has rooms for housing soldiers. The Great Wall played 
and very important role in Chinese history. Look at this picture. We call the Bacon Towers. Bacon Towers were used for sending out military information. Once the enemy came to attack, bonfires were light to send message. During the day, the smoke could be seen from afar. The fire itself could be seen during the night. In the period of Chenghua during the Ming Dynasty, it was stipulated that Bacon Tower personnel would light bonfires and fire the cannon in case of enemy attacks. If they discovered about 100 enemies, they would light one bonfire and fire one cannon. If 500 enemies were coming, two bonfires were light and two cannons were fired. Another role in Chinese history, the first one military function I just have introduced, and the second one is the economic function. It can promote the development of economy in the frontier area, and the peaceful trade quickened economic exchange. The third one is a link promoting the mingxing of ethnic groups. And the last one is defunding the Euro-Asian continental bridge. The Great Wall provided an effective guarantee that the famous Silk Road, the so-called Euro-Asian continental bridge, could remain open and be continuously developed. The wall has always played an utmost important protective role in the development and the exchange of Chinese and Western culture, arts and economy. Look at this Ji Yong Pass. Ji means to live well. Yong refers to criminals and employed workers. Since they were sent and lived here, hence the name Ji Yong. The pass was created in the Han Dynasty, and you can see today was reconstructed by General Xu Da at the order of Ming Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang in the early Ming. In the Zhiyong Pass lies a high platform built with marble-based reliefs called Cloud Terrace. This is one of the famous eight sites of Yanjing. This area of the wall is surrounded on either side by lofty peaks, lush mountain vegetation and blossoming flowers. The scenery creates an awesome sight, the tablet of the Great Wall surrounded by lush Greenery at the Zhiyongguan Pass is located on the lush greenery mountain in the middle of the Guanggou Valley. And the most famous Great Wall in Beijing is the Ba Da Ling Great Wall. Ba Da Ling is situated at the very top of the mountains north of the Guanggou Valley. This is a narrow path leading to the top of two precipitous mountains. The Badaling Great Wall is built in between the two mountains and was constructed to be a communication center. According to the entire layout of the Great Wall, the section of Badaling belongs to the inner Great Wall. The wall here is about 12 kilometers long with 24 watchtowers and four wall platforms. It is the best constructed, most typical and consolidated section of the wall. The Badaling Great Wall is composed of the wall, the strategic path of the wall, a watchtower, floodwater drainage, the wall platform, as well as bacon tower both inside and outside wall. Okay, this is our today's lesson. Thank you very much and see you next time.